What's up guys? This is Damien with Hosh Online and today we're going to take a look at Windows 8 and I know what you're thinking, Windows 8 again, but it's a little bit different. Last time that we uh, demoed Windows 8, we were using it in boot camp on a MacBook Pro. So I've got a hands-on uh, HP TouchMart touch computer and I've installed Windows 8 and once again this is the Enterprise Preview Edition and and it runs very very well so well that I thought I'd share it with you because you know a lot of people are going to be purchasing Windows 8 when it when it's released on October 26 and a lot of people will be uh, purchasing the new Windows 8 uh, tablets uh, you know some of the brand new computers that have touch enabled uh, on, on them and laptops whatever but the majority the vast majority of people who purchase Windows 8 usually will just be upgrading a computer that they already have so this is a like a real life demonstration of how this will work if you have a touch touch uh, based computer already at home and it works very very well so as you can see we've done a Windex uh, Windows index score and it's a 4.2 those numbers don't really mean anything I mean some people are really into benchmarking and stuff like that but when it comes down to real world use this thing it, it runs excellent now when I say it runs excellent it there are a few flaws but not many there's an annoying sound that resonates every single touch so every single touch it makes this chime and it gets really in the beginning you know you don't really pay that much attention to it but it eventually gets really really irritating and I would love for Microsoft to look into that and maybe remove that or even if they just change the the tone of that sound that would be even better so you have your start screen and you have all the apps that I love on Windows 8 and using the touch as I've said before, I don't really care what anyone says. Windows 8 was developed for a touch-based interface. While it does work pretty well, very well and actually, with a mouse and a keyboard, where it really shines is in the touch. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a few keyboards that you're able to have the split layout, which for me were the the keys were a little small this is in their largest format so it, it still was a little small for me and then you even have uh, where you could draw letters which didn't work too well for me but not a lot of time uh, spent messing with that but didn't work too too well first uh, at first glance the now the keyboard the stock regular keyboard works excellent um, I actually prefer to use this over a keyboard I know what you're thinking I'm crazy but it's really a really good keyboard I think it's very uh, similar to what you'll probably find on a Windows 8 tablet uh, I, when trying Windows Phone out I, I've always liked the keyboard that Microsoft provides uh, for Windows 8 or Windows 7 whatever Windows and, and it's the same here on Windows 8 on a desktop well, all in one and in the desktop mode there uh, it answered a, a question that I was wondering how desktop mode would work or operate while using touch uh, and, and it works pretty well but I will say that the desktop version does perform better if you're using a mouse and a keyboard like I've said before I think that Windows 8 really please more people than not and bring a, a lot of new users over to Windows. Now, the problem that I did have with these, this uh, HP TouchMart was in the corners of uh, the option where you can bring up all your recent apps, uh, it, you, it gets kind of hard to pull um, the touch endpoints on, on the sides. Now, pulling app, your recent apps just one by one and uh, cycling through those, that's very easy but actually bringing up the start menu or the most the last recent app which is usually just uh, you, you register that by hitting the, the left hand upper left hand corner that's pretty hard to do actually um, I, I would say if I tried it 10 times I would be lucky if I could get it once so that they might need to adjust that or address that in the final build here we're playing a fruit ninja which is a great way to demonstrate a touch based uh, operating system and it's very fluent the touch is really well executed I, I mean, there's no lag there's a uh, it's, it's not like Windows of old if you you've been gone from Windows before and it definitely as far as this HP touch mark performs better with Windows 8 on it than when it had let's go way back to the evil Windows Vista 
and how it performed with Windows Vista and the HP apps and you know really it wasn't hard to perform uh, better than what what it was then um, it was so horrible but now you have a operating system that is based on touch and it really excels and I think that if you have a HP touch mark or any touch base computer or even just a touch base monitor when you get Windows 8 or if you're you're trying it now you you will really be surprised as I was how well this works I think Microsoft really has a winner because this thing it, it, it almost looks as if it's a brand new computer and it performs as if it's a brand new computer this is a Intel Core 2 Duo that is running like it's a new processor, a Core i7 that was released yesterday. And I think that's a pretty good and exciting thing. Now, if you're one of those people who say, oh, well, I just absolutely hate touch. I don't want anything to do with it. It still runs very, very well with a mouse and a keyboard. Uh, I actually feel like, uh, as I was saying before, it's harder to hit those upper, uh, well, those corners. Uh, with the mouse and keyboard you have absolutely no problem with that at all so I guess that's one way to fix it um, not really the best way to, f to fix it because if you're getting a computer like this and you say hey well I don't want to use a mouse and a keyboard and eh, you really don't have an option right now for what you can do this is the uh, YouTube app for uh, Windows 8 and uh, come on Microsoft you can do way better than this because I'm sorry this app pretty much sucks I mean, I'm not gonna hold back any punches. I love YouTube. I spent a lot of time on YouTube. I've tried a lot of YouTube apps, and this is probably the worst YouTube app I have used before. So let's get this together, and uh, maybe, or maybe let's get an official YouTube app for Windows. A lot of people will adopt Windows 8 when it's released. Let's get an official, good quality YouTube app for Windows. So there you have it guys. If you have a Windows based computer, a touch based computer, and you're thinking about how Windows 8 will run on that, this is how it will run. Are you excited about Windows 8? Because I am very excited about Windows 8. I haven't been as excited about Windows 8, Windows Phone 8, um, since I haven't been that excited about an OS since maybe when Android was uh, starting to come around. I'm still going to be a big Android guy. The Android is my OS. Um, I'm just, you know, it's, it's, there's never a, a bad thing with having options. And Windows 8 will be my option. I'm not really an iOS guy. I just don't like, you know, what it is that iOS entails and, you know, what it is. I, I, I like the path that Microsoft is going with Windows 8, Windows Phone 8, the tablets, the whole, uh, the whole ecosystem that they're going with and i want to know if you guys are just as excited or more excited about this as i am leave uh whatever comments that you want um, i'll make sure to get with you guys I, i'm really interested to hear from you guys about what you think about windows 8 but once again this has been damien with hosh online uh you guys subscribe give me a thumbs up i will see you guys next video peace